are one of the cheapest means of mass communication they give up they give us latest news about the various events and happenings of the world so daily daily we get newspaper newspaper boy comes and delivers the newspaper to uh, our door uh, door delivery it is or early morning we can see when we open the door uh, when your mother opens the door you, she can see the newspaper in front of the door uh? yes so there we get all the news all the updated news what all happens till today or today uh, morning what all till yesterday what all things happens everything we can read in that then various events various incidents happens in each and every corner of the world and happenings of the world yes newspapers and magazines are published in many languages so this newspaper is there in many languages we are getting uh, the newspapers of our language if we want newspaper in our state language we will get that newspaper if we want newspaper in english we will get in hindi we get in malayalam we get in uh, marathi we get so all local languages also newspapers are available and spread news to the masses it spread news to masses means large number of people at the same time early morning the same time everyone are getting newspapers isn't it so large number of people at the same time they are reading news isn't it yes then next comes television yes television the invention of television changed the life of people a lot yes when television got invented people uh, it changed the lifestyle of the people life of the people television was invented by john logie bird john who invented television john Logi Bird, B A I R D. John Logi Bird in the year 1922. In the year 1922, John Logi Bird invented television. It made it made the way for cinema in our lives. Yes, we can sit. at home and watch television we can see at the same time we can hear we can watch movies cinema yes it gave a way to see a cinema by sitting at our home it showed video as well as gives sound we can see and we can hear it replaced the radio as it is much better medium than radio it replaced the radio yes when television got invented what happened ah uh, people people uh, actually before there was radio we can only hear but when we can see and hear then people actually they got interested more in television than radio so television replaced radio mm? yes people started using television more than radio we can also watch live coverage on television whatever programs that are happening now that live coverage also we can watch sports games cricket football now at in which part of the country it is the that live program we can sit at home and we can watch directly we need no need to go to that place and watch at home itself we can watch the live program we watch serials yes there are many serials in tv news we can watch the entertainment programs are there like cinema movies reality shows songs dance comedy shows etc etc many entertainment programs are there in television we can watch all these programs on various channels different number of n number of channels are there now in television we can watch uh, different different kinds of programs in different channels by sitting at our home isn't it yes so television it changed the life of the people so who invented television john logie bird invented television in 1922 1922 he invented television and uh, people at home they can sit and watch everything whatever happens in and around the world in each corner of the world they can sit and watch tv uh, they can update all the news in tv i mean by using tv by seeing the news when there are different programs that entertain the people uh, all live programs we can watch in tv we can see and hear yes next is internet yes internet the latest hmm, the latest 
means of mass communication the latest the new one huh yes so it, it provides the latest information about anything anywhere in the country anywhere in the world that happens very instantly very instantly so it provides the latest information to us internet is the most popular mode of mass communication it is the most popular mode of mass communication english physicist sir tim berners lee is regarded as having invented the world wide web in 1989 so world wide web means www.com world wide web world wide web this is uh, that is www.com we say this world wide web in 1989 in this year who invented sir tim bern sir tim berners lee berners lee yes he is regarded as having invented world wide web in 1989 nowadays internet is used for various purposes nowadays we are using internet people cannot live without internet nowadays uh, they are using it for many purposes many things uh, like online shopping yes they can sit at home and they can order the things what they need even if it is household items or uh, kitchen items whatever vegetables fruits and uh, whatever e banking e banking means electronic banking uh, using the mobile phone or smartphone itself they can do online banking they can transfer money no need to go to bank and uh, taking time and going bank and all no need now at home itself by using uh, wherever they are they can use online they can do online shopping they can do online banking also transfer money they can transfer money if they want to pay current bill also uh, they can use the smartphone and they can do it isn't it yes and advertisement purposes internet internet uh, using internet they can do advertisement purposes through computer we can do online shopping through internet we can do online banking through internet we can do advertisement purposes advertisement means we can give some ad for uh, promoting uh, some products huh? suppose we are making something and we need to promote that uh, our business by giving ad to reach number of people so that number of everyone will see and uh, order so for that purpose for advertisement purpose internet is the best uh, media huh? to reach people hmm? that is um, advertisements mean okay yes then the internet is a worldwide system of computer network in which users at any one computer can get information from another computer and sometimes talk directly to users at other computers means computers of different parts of the world are connected to one another or computers of different parts of the world are connected to one another by this system that is internet actually so all the, the computers in different parts of the world are connected so they can talk with each other those who are using this uh, user uh, the computer users they can talk also they can pass information talk directly we use internet to search information on any topic using various websites if we want uh, uh, information about anything uh, if we want the knowledge it is there at the our hand uh, just just we need to press a button everything is there in our hand now isn't it because of internet if we want to search a meaning if we want to get any information about any thing uh, just searching google uh, that is websites means google.com amazon.com uh, then what wikipedia.com these are the uh, websites uh, where we get all the information about anything in the world yes so uh, internet is the it provides the latest information about anything very instantly that is very instant very quickly that is internet so very fast we get this information huh? yes and uh, this it is invented by this regarded as having invented by whom sir tim berners lee 
in 1989 world wide web it's called world wide web because computers of different parts of the world are connected to one system uh, one another by a system that is internet actually and we people use internet for online shopping to order something e-banking banking transaction by telephone or computer uh, rather than uh, through human interaction that, uh, the, uh, that rather than that they can use the mobile phone smartphone or computer to transfer money trans cash transaction is possible hmm, using internet uh, nowadays people take money uh, from the uh, from the account no need to go to bank they can use the ATM ATM card and they can go to ATM center and they can take a money that is also a big avail uh, facility uh, nowadays because of Com uh, computer technology or because of internet facility or e-banking uh, e-banking means it included that also and advertisement purposes so it is a uh, worldwide uh, all the computers are connected to one another by a system called internet and uh, people use internet to search information on any topic uh, using different sites like Amazon uh, this uh, google.com then Wikipedia etc so internet has become a part of human's life now isn't it without internet now people find difficult to live because whatever they do they do with the help of internet yes so next is advertisements yes advertisements so what is advertisements advertisement advertisement already we have seen here in while we were learning internet internet is used for advertisement purposes isn't it so what is advertisement it's a notice or announcement in a public medium promoting a product service or event to promote a product to tell about to give information about something and they use advertisement okay to give some announcement notice about something advertisement are given in newspapers we use newspapers to give advertisement to give an ad if a person if they are launching a shop or a product first they will give uh, advertisement in newspaper because newspaper is a mass media where all of the people at the same time they get the news mm? so in ad uh, newspapers also we can give the ad about uh, uh, any product that uh, the a company is launching uh, everything mm? then magazines they give the advertisements radio they give with television they give and there are different kinds of ads or advertisement we see in television isn't it different in number of products advertisement we can see if there is a shop opening in any world eh? that advertisement also they will give in TV in newspapers and all we get to know about the features of the products through advertisements through advertisement we will come to know about the uh, importance of that product so what our advantages is the for that product the features of the product what how can we use that what is the purpose of that yes this helps us to become aware of the products and buy the best of them according to our choice and budget budget so we will come to know after when we see the advertisement people come to know about that product uh, about the features of it advantage of it the use of it and then they can about the price also so they can uh, buy according to their choice then government messages are also spread through advertisements regarding social awareness uh, government also send uh, messages to the people through advertisements like some about some elections or etc whatever government wanted to spread the message to the people they use this advertisement uh, in television in the internet in television they give the advertisement and it will reach the people within seconds so advertisement is a notice to the public announcement to the public huh? to tell about the features of the product or event or service that is advertisements so that's about the mass communication so mass communication at the name indicates mass it reaches masses or large number of people at the same time that's why it is called mass communication and it has been a part of the people that mass communication became a part of people's life now humans life now huh? so they use this mass uh, this media or this mode of mass communication for uh, different purposes it, the life, life became easy for them nowadays because of mass communication 
uh, they can sit at home and they can hear or they can they come to know what all things are happening in each and every corner of the world uh, and they can reach the people those who are staying very far away from them using this mass media or communication they can get the news they can receive the news and the news message whatever yes so first we learned about radio uh, radio Guel Guelmo Marconi in 1886 he invented radio it was a popular means of communication those days before the invention of television and radio also we can hear everything we can update the news huh? whatever happening in different parts of the world we can hear it you in the in, in the news in radio uh, it is a source of education and also advert uh, source of entertainment also many programs are there in radio where we can listen we can hear it yes then newspapers magazines it is they are the cheapest means of communication very cheap they are isn't it not costly they are very cheap so whatever news or incidents or events happening uh, we can read in newspaper magazines we can see advertisements many things so newspaper the main advantage of newspaper is it is uh, published in many languages even local language we can read the newspaper uh, people which language they are familiar with they can buy those newspapers and read yes television television is the yes it changed the life of the people it is the important and popular mean of, means of com mass communication nowadays john logie bird 1922 he uh, invented television yes and it we can see as well as we can hear we can hear to all hear and see all the events that happening in every part of the world and even we can it's a source of education as well as entertainment uh, we can sit at home and we can watch the live programs yes so that is the advantage of television many entertainment programs are there in different channels and uh, people love to watch these programs in television and it made the way for cinema to reach our home isn't it yes then internet yes now more than television people use internet nowadays internet also it's it became a, a most popular means of mass communication where people can do online shopping in that people can do e-banking in that they can do advertisement even they can watch movies this is also entertainment also everything they can do whatever they need they can get all information they can do whatever they want in the internet yes it's a popular mode of mass communication and sir tim berners lee hmm, regarded as having invented this world wide web www in 8, 1989 yes and now people use internet for different purposes isn't it yes so computers of different parts of the world are linked to each other one another using a system that is internet uh, it's the latest uh, it provides the latest information uh, very instantly very instant and whatever information we need uh, we can uh, get this information very quickly just press the button I means just go to a site and we can get all the information through internet then we learned about advertisements actually it is a notice or announcement to the public mm? it is uh, um, pub uh, to the public or it is promoting a business or promoting a product or an event or a service to the public using advertisements we give advertisements in newspapers magazines in television internet or we you give advertisements then by you seeing the advertisement people can understand about the product or that event uh, everything and uh, even if they want to buy that product according to the choice they can buy by uh, seeing the advertisement by seeing the good uh, side of that uh, particular thing uh, yes so if any event or any service government also is sending messages uh, to the public using by giving the advertisements in television and all uh, yes so that is advertisement and you can see an image here about a burger king whopper advertisement when i asked for burgers built exactly as big as the ones in the ads see a burger advertisements they have given there so there are many advertisement we can see in tv uh, about food about textiles uh, about companies uh, in many many field different advertisements we can see any new product if any company launch everything we can see as ad advertisements in tv 
Isn't it? Yes.